so this is the fake iPod Nano or something like that I mean you can definitely see that they've kind of ripped off the iPod Nano 6th gen and in fact in the name of this music player it says 6th gen so it's kind of meant to be a ripoff of the iPod Nano 6th generation and it looks quite like it I mean you know and I got this for about six pounds six seven pounds so for that much what do you expect um not really not really a lot from a music player not really a lot from anything un unless it's just an accessory like uh, i don't know maybe a tiny tripod or something then it's somewhere else but this is an electronic device that's meant to play your music and for six and seven pound i was really really impressed by what this device offers um so before we start links will be in the description if you want to buy this also timestamps will be in the description if you want to just jump to a section that you want to see so like sound quality or body life or whatnot so go ahead and check that out so let's start with the unboxing it came with uh, a mini usb cable which is uh, well quite tiny but you don't need to worry about that and they came with some cheap earbuds earphones earbuds and whatnot so yeah that's that and then I came with an instruction manual for a different music player. So that's a bit funny. I mean, just look at it. It is for a different music player. I don't understand what the heck's going on over here, but uh, whatever. Is that? So, yeah, whatever. That works for some people. And then, of course, you have the music player. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look around it. So, in the front, you got a 1.88 inch LCD display, which is uh, alright. Uh, I mean, the viewing angle from the top and bottom are alright. Um, but from and from the sides they're kind of not so good uh, you can read everything though so that's fine on the top you got volume down volume up and the menu button and then the on and off button which is also used as a playback button uh, at the back you've got a clip which is all right and stuff what not on the bottom you got a micro sd card slot a microphone a headphone jack and the mini usb to charge and also to connect it with the pc and that also works obviously and if you look at the back over here, it says a reset and there's a hole over there and that's not, I don't think it's made for reset because there's another one over here on top of in there. Um, so reset, I don't know where it is. Uh, I have a feeling, you know, since they put it over there, it's probably in the jack. <laughs> it's a stupid thing to say, but uh, it's likely it's just in the jack over there. So it's possible to 16 gigabyte memory cards they say but I put in a 32 gig one this is 32 gig one in here uh, and uh, it, it seems to open up the files for for it so that's good um, but if you put in a, a 64 gigabyte one it's gonna say memory card error so that's funny I guess it doesn't support that much um, so the display is two inches uh, it's not too small I mean for music player it's kind of big if you're honest with you um, but for anything else it's it's too too small and it's the it's kind of a low resolution but for this price it's actually high resolution i don't think it's that bad or something like that i mean just uh, you can see the pixels on it if you look closely and if you squint high but it's, otherwise it's all right now these buttons they have a hollow sound so press that um and what i find is uh, i'll get onto the audio quality in a bit quite impressive for me to play like this and this clip is a bit flimsy um, but it does work you know so the buttons feel kind of cheap and stuff uh, they have the really soft tactile feedback and uh, I will okay I don't like it I'll tell you that much but it's okay um, it does the job I don't know if you can hear it you probably can't but who cares it doesn't really matter uh, design wise I I'm okay with it to be honest I, I, I'm not really interested in this design it's not my favorite but uh, as you can see, kind of ripped off the iPod Nano and they've done a pretty good job at that. But the build quality over here is um, a bit, well, it's made out of plastic, the whole lot of it. And if you look at this, um, uh, if you look at this right now, um, you can see that the display is a bit angled. So it's a bit like this. As in this. So the build quality is kind of poor. Uh, I would say that because look at this there's um I, I don't know if you can see that there's a little hinge uh, it's just open over there it's made out of plastic not out of metal uh, i thought it was first but yeah it, it's what you expect from a chinese products it's really really cheap build quality but uh, it feels durable um i think it's gonna last so i mean it's really really lightweight um so i don't think if you drop it it's gonna like break or something like that so let me quickly run you over the battery life um it, it takes about one hour to charge exactly one hour 
uh, and I tested it because you know they don't have uh, any specs on it um, on the description or whatnot and it lasts in one full charge I charged this last night it lasts about four or oh, four hours three to four hours on a single charge so it's not good at all but considering the price I was actually quite impressed because compared to uh, the two pound players the blue ones with two color display the two of them I've actually checked out. Um, they don't even last a flipping hour, so and and they take forever to charge for them for no reason really. And this one it actually works properly. Um, I didn't expect it to be working as a music player, but it actually does. So I'm gonna take you over the operation now. I'm just gonna turn it off. Um, it's quite a quick player, by the way. So to turn it on, you hold that down, and, and it will turn on and it'll straight away jump into the menu uh, and this is your main menu so to go back and forth you need to use the volume up and down buttons and it'll go through the options and if you want to go into one you press the middle button and um, to get back out of that you have to hold the middle button and it'll go back out if you press that uh, when you listen to music it'll act uh, well actually we'll get onto that so I've tested some things, um, I haven't tested video because I don't think there's any point. Uh, so let's go into music and um, this is the only application that takes a bit uh, of time to kind of load in uh, into this area which is where your music is, your file and everything, that is, the, playback, the, the playback screen. And what you can do over here is um, you can skip the songs I think uh, um, and stuff and you can also uh, press the middle button uh, and you can jump into the menus and you can go exit uh, and if you want to play and pause you have to press the power button okay um, so let's go back out of this application what I'll do is take you through the uh, other applications then I'll come back to this one we'll talk about it and this part is probably going to be long um, so you got a few options you got music that's for your music uh, you got your video which you don't want to use because the screen is too small and everything you got your record which i've used and it actually works um, if you got headphones um, and uh, if you got a headset i mean and it has a microphone it'll actually let you record with that um, you got fm radio which works fine um, and you got picture mode which i'll get into in a bit and we've got system settings and then we've got um, text so what basically text is just dot txt file um, it's nothing to do with ebooks and everything but it actually takes it as ebooks and so you got some text over here i don't know where the heck this came from but uh, it's um i think you press this and it'll go into it and it's basically like a text file that's all it reads but um and that's to enter and go back and stuff that's always enter oh, go off man um so let's jump into the settings and i'll show you the settings then we go into the other applications or so they called so you got system time which basically is the system time so uh, i haven't said that can't just with it nobody really cares oh no right there we go go back so that's the back button sometimes and then that's the back button sometimes lcd size is basically the uh dark mode uh, basically means the time off uh, so five seconds is gonna take and then it's gonna shoot the screen off to save battery life but the music will still play off and as you can see it just turned it off so i'll put that to zero just for this video but uh, you can set it to five as the minimum so that's uh, not really the short shortest uh, the shining m1 lets me use two seconds that's a bit more relevant but it doesn't matter you got a few languages um uh, yeah, that's how we go. I guess uh, look at on, on the video and then you just check. So we got power off. That basically means uh, how long is it gonna take to just shut down automatically. So off time is basically in minutes. I think um, it's gonna take that many minutes. It's gonna just turn off. So all of a sudden you listen to music and it just goes off. And whenever you turn it back on, that's gonna be on the same time all the time. It's gonna stay like that. So every single time you turn it on. Uh, if it's on 10, it's gonna every single time you turn it on after 10 minutes or so, on, it's gonna turn off. Um, but sleep time is basically the same thing except it's one time. So you set it to like 30 minutes, it's gonna turn off after 30 minutes. The next time you turn it on, it's back to zero, so it's reset. Memory information basically reads the memory card and tells you the information left, and it doesn't have internal memory. Uh, you got your firmware version, which doesn't really make sense because they don't really have any other firmwares. Upgrade doesn't really do anything and then exit so that's basically out text file uh, i think i've been through that basically do txt files nobody even uses those uh, let's go into video i'm gonna say memory card error because there is i don't think there's any video on it so empty card um 
I don't recommend you using this for video because it's stupid. Okay, don't use it. Uh, it's too small of a screen and the colors and everything are not really not that great. So let's go into record and I've recorded some things. Um, that is to record. And there you go. It starts for recording, so it's recording right now. And if I can move, if I get the memory card out, the the files are recorded on the memory card. Um, I'll actually move it into the video, and then we'll just play back and. That's the sound quality that comes out. Um, it comes uh, records in a wave, so that's pretty standard. That's good. So that how the heck do you stop this? All right. So you pause it, I think. And... All right. So you exit out the application and it just saves it. I've, I don't, um, but if you're not recording. Press this and it'll bring up the menu. So you got your card folder and you got your record type. You can change it into different different qualities. Well, I'll just use the highest one. Uh, you've got your record from the input, so you can use the headphone jack to record, or you can use the built-in microphone. Uh, don't know what the heck this is. Don't know what the heck that is. Don't know what the heck that is. None of that matters because the recording quality is crap. Uh, it doesn't have a speaker, so you you can't really use that. Um, go back. I'll put the recording on afterwards. Cool. Flipping pop on. Um, and there you go. It started for recording, so it's recording right now. And if I can move, if I get the memory card out, uh, the files are recorded on the memory card. Um, I'll actually move it into the video, and then we'll just play back, and that's the sound quality that comes out. Um, it comes uh, records in a wave, so that's pretty stuff. So you pause it, I think, and. Okay, so this is a recording. I'm guessing it's not working. So, how the hell you stop this thing? Okay, so this is a test of the recording that this uh, music player records with a tiny microphone at the bottom. I'm thinking, come on, headphones, so we not playing any music. So yeah, goodbye. So next we've got FM radio which works. No one to use that, but we'll show you it. I guess um, plug in your headphones and it'll just pop up and you can change the volume and you can even record it and you can save it. Blimey. I I don't use a lot of um, radio, so that's just what it is. And you've got a picture which I use. I mean, I I just used once, so I can show you it, but here we go. So you got your pictures. Uh, you go back with this button. Oh my god! For my error, that's a um, card folder. I mean, oh, that's to enter. That's to go into the picture. So you go back. Uh, you go back. Let's go to the pictures. So it's going into some weird place. I don't know why I keep going on. It just finds uh, the first image file, so it just goes over there. We're going to photos. Don't have any photos. It's on pictures. Where the heck is pictures gone? Here is. So pictures. This is where I saved one uh, JPEG from the PC. I moved it onto here, and we can press this button to actually see it. I think it is. You press this button to go onto the when the memory card comes. That means it's onto viewing mode. Press that, and it'll show you the picture. I don't know if you can see this, but uh, that is this Minecraft. I just took a screenshot, and then whatever. So let's go out that. Um, the pictures don't really look good. They're too, the, the resolution is too bad and it just looks too small and stuff. Um, let's jump into music. This is the most interesting because it's a music player. So it is the memory card. It's going to take it just a bit. Uh, so and then it's here. So this is the playback screen. And when you're not playing music and you press the menu button, it jumps into this. So for those of you who are wondering, does it have a, a file manager? That is. Press that and you got all your music. You can um, shuffle and stuff, uh, whatever. So to go back, I mean to play, I mean that's to go back. To go back again and then it just, if it takes, uh, if it freezes for a bit, that means it's going back to the playback screen. And you're back here. Um, you can also delete the files, the whole lot of them, which you don't want to do, obviously. Um, and it's different when you're playing the music. So this is the pause and play button. That's to actually skip tracks. Alright. 
and that's to do nothing until you it just turns the screen on but all of them do so playing your track is going to turn that into play and it's going to start going forward and now if i press the menu button it's different you can change the volume you can change the repeat which uh, it goes up to 40 levels of volume um but i just keep you on five and stuff because i don't use really loud volume all the time you got your repeat mod which is basically shuffle um, intro which i don't know what the heck it is uh, normal repeat one what not and random basically means shuffle uh, so you want to keep it on that that's the best equalizer you got some equalizing options over here you can change your stuff so you can make a sound different and you've got your variable speed which is basically going to change the speed of the playback but it's going to make it mono so normally if it's on zero it's going to be normal if it's on one uh, it's going to make it slower but it's going to make it into a mono so even if it's a steady file it sounds like garbage don't use that but if you want to um, make your music slow for some weird reason then you can do that um, you've also got a replay mode which uh, is going to replay the same song so how many times do you want to replay it uh, we don't want to replay it you just want to replay once um, and then from that you've got that's it um, so let's go over the playback screen I'll just show you it so on the top you got your memory card so you're accessing the memory card that's your equalizing uh, equalizer so it's on normal settings that's the playback mode so it's on random I think it is um, that's the volume level and your battery level that's the amount of tracks that you've got and which track you're playing the uh, time uh, the folder so music in mp3 and then there's your format and I'll get on to this in a bit um, actually you'll just do it right now so basically uh, it has the name of the song followed by the name of the artist followed by the name of the album but what it does is it cuts it up into sections so if you look at this so this is supposed to be the white album and it's gonna it's cut two layers off we're going to a song with a long name if I go into a song it's with a long name, it's actually going to cut it off and it's going to just start the name of the artist. And if that's too long, it's going to cut that off as well. Now at the bottom, you got the timeline, um, you got lyrics, and then you got your playback quality. But the thing with this is, I don't know how to access those two, okay? Because it says that you can view lyrics and stuff like that, but there is no way to go on those menus. I can see that they're more like menus, um, and that's the uh, playback status. And that's the time of the song so if i pause it it's going to refresh the whole thing and it's going to just go into pause i don't know if i'm focusing over there but and then if i press again it's going to start playing i guess i can talk about one thing and that's the if i pause it it's going to go into this mode and it's going to jump into this menu if you go into card folder and you want to browse through the music now i've got about 1000 songs 944 it's going to keep going up obviously but if I want to scroll down to a song, how much, how, how many times do I have to press this? Do I hold it? Is then it's just way too slow. So uh, it, it's just a problem, I guess. Um, there's that. But it actually plays the song, and you know, oh, wrong button. There you go. So it's gonna play the songs. Really. It has a it has a file manager for this price. For this price, it has a file manager, so. It does work, but it's too slow. And if you have a lot of songs, um, it's gonna take a while to scroll down the list. But, but here's one thing: um, if I pause that, go to card folder. Now, if you have these set up into folders of artists or albums, then it's gonna limit the files to that folder. So in this folder, I got 944 songs. So it's gonna be playing 944 songs over there. But if you have a folder with one album in it, that's gonna have 10 songs. It's gonna make that into 10 and it's gonna limit to playing only those 10 songs so that's good and also what I think this player is missing is that there is no way to saw out the music in terms of artists albums genre and stuff like that so nothing like that nothing special it's just it's, it's just music okay you can't saw it out you can't split up into different different artists and stuff just play only one artist Nothing like that, it's just music, that's it. You're not gonna get anything more or less out of that. Um, also, uh, I'll actually go into the conclusion when we're talking about the cons. There are a few of them, but for the price, I'll think I'll let them off. So let's talk about the sound quality, which is the last thing before the conclusion. Now, sound quality is not, it's, it's not, you know, hi-fi. It's, it's not great, but 
for for the price what i'm amazed by is the signal to noise ratio like there is no noise no noise from the onboard uh, motherboard and stuff um but the trade-off is the sound quality is not that great um i didn't use these earphones or whatever they came with the instruction money wasn't really much of a help because i didn't really and i didn't need to and uh if you have a memory card in it you can actually use this to uh, use as a memory card reader so you can put that into the pc and it's gonna say connect to pc and you can actually use it as a file manager thing on the pc um so just sort your music out on um into folders and that and it still has the screen protective thing on it which i haven't taken off uh there's a little thingy um let me just talk about the sound quality so the sound quality is for the price compared to the other players that i've used and the uh, cheaper than this they sound like garbage this one sounds okay it's not you know hi-fi or anything maybe it's, well, it's not even better than a phone but it sounds um okay it's listenable it's the bass is crap mid are crap highs are crap as well uh, highs are actually okay but there's no sound stage everything is 2d plain really boring um you might want to uh, jump into the equalizer and just mess about with that because with the sub bass there is no sub bass it's just flat you can't feel the sub bass it's just um it's just it's just like normal bass it's just a thump into your it's like somebody's tapping on the wall but uh for this price though that sound quality is really really good there's just one thing about it um there's no sound stage so um it's just left and right and there's a bit of a bleed between the left and the right channel so it's not really the best but that being said for the price this is more than a bargain i mean for the the, the quality that it has i think it's more than enough for everybody who well for the average user who just wants to get a music player and not be bothered with the phone this one's okay okay so let's go, jump into the conclusion so what i don't like about this is the shape it's it's a bit wide okay i know it's really tiny but it's a bit wide um i think i'm gonna use it with my thumb like this but i'm not sure because headphone jack is in the way it's actually gonna be used with two hands like this the way i was holding it the whole video but um that is not really not really a way i mean you guess you can use it like this but it's not comfortable to hold it's uh, very very light so you can just use the clip plug in um, hook it up to something maybe a punch or something so that's gonna work but uh, that, that's about it really that's the only bad thing i can say about it and that's because the price is so low you can't really go wrong with this um so i was impressed you know with the quality and with what it offers for the price um oh look it's actually cut it off over there you can see so if you're looking for a music player just a simple one this might be the one but it sports mp3 waveformer and a few others in terms of video it didn't really do anything um it's just some weird format i came across which i don't even know if, if it even exists and you're probably gonna have to convert the videos and you don't want to watch them on here um so what i'll do is leave it here if you have any questions about this music player let me know in the comment section below thank you guys for watching and um, i will see you in another video i will be checking out other music players and same price range maybe higher maybe lower because i want to see which one is actually the best other music player and stuff uh, so stay tuned for that for the price i do recommend it it's actually quite impressive or if offers and everything um, and oh by the way you can also charge it and listen to the music at the same time so you can use it while it's charging uh, but it's not multitask so if you go like this you go off it into the menu it's going to stop the music playing and what i'm just going to do is change the lcd set to um, five seconds so that's just going to turn the display off um, to show you that and then we'll just end the video over here looking at that right now um so as you can see that it's playing and it's just going to turn the display off so uh yeah thank you guys for watching and uh, uh if you have any questions let me know in the comment section below i'll be more than happy to answer your questions uh, and i will see you again in another video